have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We... Come on. Let's go. Ain't sure what we're... we're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead. Who's there?
Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Uh, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Ah! Yeah. Look out! You run into anybody else? I... I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well... Don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Okay, let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Head over there. <laughs> Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen, keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am 
kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! Over there! More of them! It's an ambush! seem to be going too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dares. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Hmm. <laughs> Poor bastard was married, too. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please, please spare me.
Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <clears throat> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And... Look for me. 
Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Stay on these tracks, come on! Boy! Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. Ah. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but... Could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So... You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. They continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. The tracks lead this way, aren't there? Coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Yeah. I can see the 
tracks here, aren't there? from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? You getting that gun then? Come on. It's slippery, be careful. Out of that, we're high up here. You're telling me. Careful, there's a drop here. Watch out here. Stay low under here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Up this way. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. I know. Here, take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, can you hear me? Down here. Hey! All right! Hot down, Marston! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. <sighs> you don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. 
Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Are you coming? Look up there. Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. We're getting you out of here. Get back. Don't bring them this way. Draw them off us, Arthur. Hey, back out. Stay back. Get them away from us. Well done, Arthur. Okay, let's get going before any more of these bad Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. Yeah! I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. Easy. It's just like a, a dog bite. You knew a fella? Got bit by a dog? Look Died. out! An hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Coming down the hill. Get out of here! Get the hell out of here! Shit, there's more on the right! We got more wolves on the left! Get the hell out of here! Get out! Look at that, kid. So, Jesus! You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. We don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, idiotas. Uh, it's his leg. Uh, oh, come on, let's get you warm. Uh, Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. 
The West is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. Up with you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> well, a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators. Here. Comb? Always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this or their planet. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys, be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Are you sure this is the right way? Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. So, you were saying? Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on.
It's steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Stay low. Come on, follow me. Get in cover, Arthur. I'm ready for this job to be done. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Look out! We got more in those cabins to the right! They're still hiding in those cabins. Do this some... Is Let's end this, you jackass! Ah! I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cone doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, and ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! More coming in from the forest.
Okay. Let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Nice of you two to join us. Is everyone all right? I think so. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. What the hell's wrong with you? Ah, shit! What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kier. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt. 
hurt me, please? Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <coughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found Enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. didn't kill it. You should go finish it off. Poor animals in pain. You should finish it with your knife. Sorry. <laughs> Done. Okay, that'll do it. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder.
Pretty good hunt there, boy. Something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Got some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Oh, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one if you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Yeah. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. Then you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. 
We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Everyone ready? All right, let's head out! <laughs> 